we are magical beings. Why we are not doing everything that we need to? Why we are not living the way we should live? Hey guys, my name is Joyce and welcome to my channel, The Project Joy. How are you today? Today I came here to talk to you about the new things that are starting to happen and are going to happen because my life kind of had a revolution in the past few weeks and um, I wanted to tell you all about it and what is going to happen from now on. And also to tell you a little bit about my visions as well because I've been promising I will, I will tell and today I'm going to talk about it. So yeah. For those of you that are coming here for the first time and just watched a few videos, I need to, to tell you a little bit about myself and why I started this. So, in the reality, I'm a flight attendant. I work for Qatar since 2018 and in 2020 I had a family emergency and I had to go back to Portugal. And meanwhile, the borders shut down and I got stranded in Portugal. And yeah, I stayed there for one year, two months and 13 days. And I thought I was never going to come back again because 90% of my friends were fired and I thought my time was going to come as well. But it never did. They called me back. And now I'm back to Qatar. And that to say, from now on the videos are going to be a little bit different. I'm going to have different scenarios every time. And I might have to record in other countries. I think you're going to enjoy it. So it's not that a problem. But maybe I won't have so much time to, to do the things like I wanted to. But it's okay. I'm going to still do it because this is my life. Explaining you all the things that I've learned, it's all that I want to do in my life. So no matter what happens, I'm going to still continue doing these videos, okay? In the past few weeks, I also had a lot of trouble. My phone broke and uh, I had a lot of little issues that made me think that okay the universe is trying to to see if i really want to do this because with all those things that have been happening the universe is really testing me if i want to continue this or not but i don't care how much the universe is testing me because this is what i want to do and no matter what happens i'm going to continue doing this it's just going to be uh, in different timings and I know it's okay because whatever has to happen will happen. Anyway, to tell you about my visions, I have to confess that I'm not very comfortable to talk about this because, like I said, it's visions and um, it's very easy to be seen as a madness. But I know it's not. And now that I've told you a little bit about my process of thinking and about the realities and the parallel realities, now uh, it's easier for me to explain everything that actually happened to me. In the 5th of November of 2020, I received my food intolerance test. For those of you who watched the first few videos, you know the story. And once I was checking the list, I saw a pattern. And what I saw was that all the food that I can consume it's the food that originally are abundant on the place that I was born. And all the other food that is not from my region, my body doesn't accept it that well. And I thought that it's, it's very funny and weird and I also checked my friend's test and she had almost the same and she was born in another place and her food intolerances are also connected to that, to the place that she was born. And then I started this process of thinking, like, okay, if I have this food intolerances and they are all related to the place that I was born, then if everyone around the world could test their intolerances, then maybe people would have a different way to think about food and maybe we would all limit how much we consume and what we consume. And also, maybe it would be easier to understand on the countries that has a lot of hunger, we could see what kind of food every population needs the most. And then I started to think and think and think like a snowball, like if we could make an app where we could have all our food intolerances or our disease, like blood disease and all this kind of stuff, 
and connect everything in one only platform, maybe it would be easier for us to stop the hunger around the world because we would be able to see what kind of food every person really needs. And then again, in this process of thinking, the more I was thinking, the more things and more answers were coming to me. And suddenly I just stopped thinking and started to feel. I started to feel something so, so deep inside of me, like a fire, like I don't know how to call it. It was something like it was burning inside. I started to cry a lot and I started to see a lot of things happening, like all the things that were going to happen years from now in the planet. Like we would be able to end hunger, that all the streets and everything around the world would be completely different. I remember going to the window and seeing the street, but I couldn't see the street that was there. I was just seeing the, the street in a lot of years in the future. In my visions, there was no cars. The, the cars, they were not circulating around the city in the, in the surface. They were circulating in the, on the underground. All the buildings, they all had the solar panels and they were all covered with plants and covered with green uh, leaves and everything. And it was uh, something very beautiful to watch because uh, everyone around was feeling complete joy. Like there was no heaviness of being in the city. And uh, I also remember seeing like all the new technologies we would have like for example we would understand how teletransportation would be possible and uh, telepathic conversations and this kind of stuff and then in a lot of years later we would stop having planes because we wouldn't need them anymore and also i could see that there was a, a huge part of humanity that would be able to work from home just like we are we have been doing since the quarantine but from now on would be our own choice and we would be more productive and we would have more time to be with our families people would be more happy to be around the people that they love like they could work for a company in another country and stay home with their family and that's already happening but in the future that's something that is going to be something very common and also all the cities we wouldn't have so many corporative buildings they would have like just a room to have a, a reunion now and then but almost every city every place would be only buildings for families to live in everything would be family friendly a lot of companies that would blend and a lot of things that would disappear uh, the economy is going to be completely different a lot of things I saw a lot of things I cannot tell a lot of details because it would shock you a little bit too much and all the things that I said are things that I know that are very reasonable to happen all the other things I'll tell you in another time the thing is that in the 5th of November I had these visions but it was not only on the 5th of November during the next two weeks I had a lot of visions, a lot of messages and a lot of answers about everything that was going to happen. But yeah, for those of you that are thinking like, how come this is happening like that? It didn't just start it. I made a lot of rituals and a lot of astral projections, lucid dreaming. I started to open my channel with my higher self and started to connect way, way more with my spiritual guides. And because of that, I reached the moment where the things started to happen. At the moment, on the 5th of November, when this happened, I knew that I needed to come here and tell you all about that I saw. But at that moment, I didn't know how to, to tell this to the world. I didn't know how to say this. Because it's a, a lot of information and it was not possible for me to explain rationally and logically everything that happened because for me it was also craziness it would be craziness for everyone and I needed to have a logic explanation for what happened to me until five months later I had another kind of visions in the 5th of November I saw everything that would happen and five months later I saw how things were going to happen 
And that's when I started to do the playlist of the logic of creation. Because it was then that I understood how the things were going to happen. Because then I started to see all the patterns, how the parallel realities work and how time actually works. And then things started to make sense in my head. Like, it's not that I saw the future. No, I, I just connected myself to a reality that that thing was happening. And why did I connect it with that reality? Because collectively we are vibrating in a specific frequency and because of that I could access what is the possible, probable future that we can have. But for example, if the whole world had another kind of energy, like a darker energy, I would be able to see another kind of darker reality in the future. But that's not what's happening right now. We are going through a transformation role-wise where we are receiving a lot of new energy from the universe and that's making us explore ourselves way more than we did in the last few centuries. And now we are starting to discover who we really are. And the more we start to wake up, the more our frequency uh, raises. And the faster it will be for us to be on the reality that I saw. And things started to make a lot of sense. And that's why I'm like, when I started to see everything, I just wanted to scream out loud to everyone, like, come on, we are all being down here. Like, we have so much, it's magical. Like, we are magical beings. Why we are not doing everything that we need to? Why we are not living the way we should live? It's so obvious. But then I understood that it's not that obvious. It's obvious when you wake up. It's obvious when you can see the things in a multidimensional way. But when you are not waking up yet, it's very hard. It's really, really almost impossible to see how this could happen. And yeah, I came here to, to make this video for you guys because I want you to know that this thing that I'm doing, sharing with you everything that I've learned, everything that I saw, it's the most important thing in my life. During my whole life, I've always been feeling an outsider. I always feel like I didn't belong to this world. I lived in depression my whole life because I couldn't feel like I belong anywhere. I tried to fit in so much, so, so much. I had a lot of wrong friendships, wrong relationships and all of them just to try to know who I really am. And now, since I started to have these visions, I finally know who I am. I finally know what I'm doing here. And I want you to know that no matter what happens, I'm going to continue doing this because this is the most important thing of my life. But for some reason, I also need to stay here. I have been receiving a lot of messages from my spiritual guides. It's not very clear for me yet why I should be here, but I still need to be here. And meanwhile, I'm going to continue communicating with you and explaining everything about the logic of creation but maybe it's not going to be in, um, in such a short period like I have been doing but I know I know you understand but yeah about my visions I'll continue talking about it in the next few videos but it was basically that I could see a lot of things that will happen in the future and I can't wait to see them actually happening. I want everyone to wake up and see the magic that I can see and feel the magic that I can feel because it's such a great love. It's something so unconditional. It's, a, it's something so strong and so powerful because once you feel it, you'll see, oh my God, why? Why I have not seen this before? Because that's what I felt. It's all around us. Magic is all around us. It's, it's very easy to achieve that, but we are blind, we cannot see it, we are like pretending to do this job or pretending to be that person. We spend our whole lives pretending to be someone else that we are not, pretending to work for someone or pretending to have a profession, when in the reality you are not that, we are way, way more, way more. We can do a lot of things. 
we, we don't have only one ability, we have a lot of abilities. And it's totally possible to do magical things. And uh, once you wake up multidimensionally and you connect with someone that is also waking up, it's very, very funny because you start to feel when you have that conversation, you don't have the conversation only in the present reality. You can feel all the realities that you are having that conversation and you can access the information of all the conversations you are having in all the other realities. It's so beautiful, it's so magical. Once you feel it, once you see it, you know how much that is true, how much that is happening. You understand how deep is what is happening. It's absolutely beautiful. Anyway, uh, I wanted to share with you a little bit about all of the things that have been happening lately and all the things that are going to start to change from now on. But I also want you to know that this is the most important thing of my life and I'm not going to stop doing my videos because it's very important for me to wake up everyone so that we can reach those realities way, way faster. And yeah. That's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, share this video with your friends and family, leave your thumbs up down here and don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell so that you can know when I'm going to post a new video, okay? Also follow me on Instagram because over there I post a lot of things that I do and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. And that's it, um beijo no coração!